Yeah, sure. Let's start okay. with the introduction. Sure, yeah. So, could you please introduce yourself? Who is Karishma? What you do you do? And what's your profession? Yeah, my name is Karishma. I live in Gurgaon. And uh, by profession, I'm an advocate. I'm a married woman. I have two children. And the younger one is only five months old. And oh. uh, I'm a part-time YouTuber too. <laughs> That's it. Okay. I have seen so many videos of yours where you just turn on your camera and talk. I really like those videos of yours. <laughs> yes. Okay, so about me, I am Nancy Jan and I am a technical architect in one of the software company. And um, I recently resigned from my job uh, to follow my passion. So currently I'm taking some time off for doing the things that I want to do. So that's, uh, that's my work. And apart from that, I love talking to people. That's why I uh, started this new podcast where I invite the people uh, who I who I I am inspired. So basically, yeah, this is the idea. And apart from that, yeah. So I'm also a part time YouTuber. You uh, you would say that's it. <laughs> that's great that you quit your job just to follow your passion. That is really amazing. And you know, YouTube is also my passion. But after some time, I realized I started realizing that no, this cannot be the source of your income if only for your hobby and passion that is it you cannot like depend on youtube so i my main profession is advocacy and i am putting my like time and efforts there now so i'm not putting so much of efforts here in youtube so whenever i get free time i record videos because usually mm -hmm. with the kids it's hard to get time for like uh, making videos but still i'm doing it just to fulfill my passion actually I also love talking, like you said, that you are also a person like who loves talking with the people. Same here. I love talking with the different kind of people. Right. So you wear so many hats, like advocate, your mom, and now doing the uh, YouTube as well, and then uh, doing work. So how can you, how do you manage your time? I'm not able to manage actually. <laughs> From last two, three months, people keep asking me, how do you manage? How do you manage? I was able to manage at that time. But like now my child is growing. He is now five months old. His activities started, like he started doing activities and all. So I'm not able to manage <laughs> right now. It's very hard. Like I am taking, I'm having this session like after 20 days, maybe 15 oh. days after. From last 15 days, I haven't taken any sessions or I haven't created any single video for my channel actually. So I'm not getting time. I'm not able to manage properly. If I would be able to manage, I may post video regularly. So I'm not able to post. It means somehow I'm lacking. I'm not able to manage everything equally actually. Yeah. Hmm. But I think this time is also for your kid. I mean, he's just uh, five months. He needs your time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yes. maybe you can yes. do some videos with him. I mean, just uh, <laughs> anything. <laughs> no, no, dear. Yeah. These days I'm not getting time actually. And I'm I'm feeling upset for that. That why am I not getting time? Why only 24 hours a day? Like, it should be long <laughs> so that I could get some time for me. But I'm not yeah. getting it. Yeah, actually the same happening with me as well. Uh, earlier I was doing job. And with job, I was managed to do all things. But now, since I have quit my job, I thought that this 24 hours would be sufficient for me to do what I want to do. Because this YouTube is like part-time for me, but I am building some business. Literally, these 24 hours, I don't know where they go. <laughs> I literally find it very difficult to manage my time. So everyone, I ask this question, like, how do you manage your time? Uh, it's really difficult to take out time for yourself actually you you cannot even after marriage you won't be able to take time for yourself yeah so whatever you want to do just do it before marriage are you not married not yet great <laughs> you can do what you want <laughs> still i'm not finding that time <laughs> i don't know what happened if i get married and then i don't know i cannot even imagine that life now <laughs> <laughs> seriously that's difficult <laughs> Right. So I also watched one of your video where you mentioned about Joe's talk. So I tried to find it on internet, but I could not find it. So 
when it is going to release or uh, so you I have don't any know. <laughs> no idea. Oh. I didn't actually ask them. Actually, they have a team and they have a lot of video to publish on daily basis. So at the time of for recording that video, they told me that it will take approximately a month uh, mm -hmm. for publishing it. But one month has already gone, but now yeah. still it's get published. But I don't like to ask them again and again because he also mentioned the thing. That people keep asking me, calling me like, sir, when my video will publish, when my video will publish. So I don't want to do that actually. <laughs> so I don't ask them whenever he will get time or whenever my turn will come that like they will upload. So uh, right. even I don't know uh, when it is going to be published. Yeah. Even I'm also waiting for that. Right. So can I ask what is the topic for that Josh talk? There is no such topic, only the inspirational story behind learning your English. Like I am not from the English background, being a Hindi medium student and very weak in English language. I just learn it. I'm speaking just within a one year. So this is how I just motivate people that if I can do, you can do as well. Like it's not really a tough task if you really want to do something. If you have uh, your mind clear that you have to learn it then you can do it. There are many ways to achieve or learn this language. Like, so this is how we just, I just shared my story. That's how okay. I have learned. English speaking yeah. journey. Yeah, I share the same background. I have also studied in English, Hindi medium, whole 12th, till 12th, I was in Hindi medium. And the same yeah. struggle that you have. So yeah, uh, the question, so what is your Hindi medium journey? Like you also in a, Hindi medium school till 12th or like some subjects do you have? In till graduation. Till graduation. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> till 12th, it was completely Hindi medium. But in graduation, I got opportunity to change my medium. And I changed mm -hmm. it for the first, uh, first term exam. And I got failed, I think, in three or four exams just because of the language. So again, I have to rechange it. I cannot oh. because I, I knew that time, like if I will go with this, I cannot clear my graduation uh, so i just changed the medium again and i complete i did my uh, graduation in uh, hindi only oh. but yes after like graduation i work with the companies and get some experience and then i apply for llb the mm -hmm. profession my profession then i choose that language english and fortunately i was like able to clear all the, those exams in english and then my confidence like i improved and it is only because of the working environment, which I got mm. after graduation, like working with the companies and employees, boss. And, you know, the more you will talk, you will able to understand. This is how my journey, like, started. Yeah, same here for me. Uh, because of the working environment only, I actually improved my English. Yeah. So when did you decide that you want to go to the Josh talk? When I received their invitation, they uh, actually went the first time when I talked to them, that time I was pregnant, seven months pregnant. We okay. communicate everything that, okay, I'll go and all. And then at last, when I told them, okay, I'm pregnant, so they said, no, then don't come. Uh, even I also not prepared. I also thought like same to cancel it because it's not good time to go. So they said like after like baby, you can come. So again, I received the invitation when he was three months old, I think. Oh. Two months back, yeah. So that time we make it happen and it was really nice thing which happened to me because I would love to uh, go there and speak because that's a different platform. When you speak on such a platform, you feel nervous and I want to, you know, uh, I want to face that nervousness. I want to uh, boost my confidence actually and that is really important. So yeah, it was amazing. Wow, right. So what do you do uh, fun outside, outside your speaking world? Any hobbies or activities that you are passionate about apart from YouTube? I love spending time with my kids these days, especially with this one. Uh, he's uh, very small. Whenever I make, like uh, in the morning when I dressed him up, I just take pictures and, you know, videos so that I can create a memory. And you don't believe, but I have created another channel just to, uh, post my daily memories so that oh. in future he will grown up like 15 years or 20 years of age he can see childhood pictures and the videos and everything because you cannot keep everything in your phone or in your oh, laptop right. to you know it takes a lot of time just to take out the laptop and watch all those uh, previous videos and moments 
so i just capture them and upload on youtube so whenever i want whenever i feel like um, maybe after 20 years or 30 years when i feel very lonely i can watch all those moments so that is my main hobby these days and that's right. the reason i don't get time maybe so i am right. doing it actually it is a nice idea to capture all the good memories in one place i, I really like this yeah. idea Uh, yes. actually i thought the parents would do this i think now yes yes not for the any other thing but just to create your own memory even now when i see memories with my uh, other kid who is uh, like 5 years old i al- always like that time i do not have a professional channel i don't post videos but still i had that channel and i post videos and keep them unlisted don't publish Uh-huh. so i have so many videos there also so that i can watch them they are not published but they are in the youtube that's a very secured place actually to post videos that will not fill your phone with the space correct you correct you can upload and delete that video from your phone and you can enjoy that video anytime you want in your future wow so i am going that- to i am going to upload now mine because i have uh, captured the moment write it down but actually i never look it back and if it is in a video format and every time available i think whenever i will feel sad i'll going to watch it it's a nice idea yes. and i'm going to implement it and i'll give credit to you for that yes <laughs> anyway um, so do you read books karishma not really i never read books actually in my entire life oh i would say but uh, I love reading Chetan Bhagat uh, novel. Ha uh-huh. ha. So these days I'm reading one or two. Uh, I started, but not up uh, now. These days not getting time because of the festive season. Also, actually, uh, uh, I occupied. Correct, correct. Ki, we are Bengali. We occupied with the Durga Puja. Actually, that's our main festival, and then Diwali, and then there's a newborn baby in our family. Other than that, hmm. there's a girl. I uh, like uh, in my house. Uh, my uh, Devrani. <laughs> Okay, so okay. she became a mother. So I was with, busy with that stuff also. So that's the reason, you know, I was occupied and not getting time to read or you know record videos or do anything actually. Ha, right. I can understand. Like you have anyway so much things to do. Yeah. That's um. Funny. Yeah. So uh, one question uh, I would like your advice on. Uh, so lots of people complain that they don't have anybody to talk with. or they don't find good resources so what would you advise to them okay i have really a good suggestion for them because uh, you know i have started uh, using that ace fluency application while i was alone uh, there was no one to speak with me as well so i chose this application ace fluency and i used to talk on that for 25 minutes free these days that is not available for free but if you uh, adopt or subscribe any of their courses you will get that free talk time as well and recently they are going to launch one year uh, one year subscription program which is in very uh, affordable price so the people who can who want to uh, you know take guidance or assistance and you want to speak you can subscribe these kind of courses they are very helpful you have to spend a you know very minimum amount and mm. i think a person if uh, spending a minimum amount just for their betterment they should do it they should not think twice and uh, other than that you have so many options like free applications are also available and uh, you can use them if you don't want to use paid one there are many free options you can talk with anyone and other than that listening youtube content there's so many things we, we can do these days there's no such excuse Correct. that you have to talk with if you really wanted to talk with you can simply receive a marketing call which you generally disconnected every time receive that and talk to them i used to do this whenever i received any marketing call i never disconnect that call i always utilize and for the stretch of 15 to 20 minutes that gives me a good speaking practice any insurance call banking call they guys are very perfect in english language actually you cannot compete them so you can take benefit out of these marketing calls that's very simple right <laughs> and they get a partner as well if you don't have any partner you will get a partner <laughs> correct seriously um uh, and i have seen your uh, that video where uh, three months monetization video and i really liked your <laughs> i really liked your uh, the real and true uh, charisma self like you were um, 
telling the youtube that youtube please promote my video i i am a middle class i am from middle class family <laughs> I that cannot... time I really <laughs> that time my videos get promoted and I got good views those that time actually on each and every video I can say like five thousand ten thousand even more than that but these days I'm stuck because of my problem it's not the fault uh... of YouTube actually <laughs> it's my problem that I have a kid now that time only like there was only one kid that was the time just I started the journey but after that I engage in so many things and I'm not getting proper time or something so it's not the fault of youtube he is promoting <laughs> youtube is promoting so did you get uh, the uh, proper professional uh, kind master or still you have videos with logo no i do not have <laughs> videos with logo now <laughs> great yes so uh, if you could could offer a piece of advice to your 5 year past version of yourself what would you give to a uh, 2019 version of Karishma. I was so dumb actually. <laughs> I was so dumb. <laughs> I came to know this YouTube very late. I was so much engaged in my job, and you know, I just do nine to six job, and then home and khana pina sleeping. That is it. I should you know utilize that time. I think if I utilize that time, I should not struggle this time. So I really feel it like uh, the people who are teenage or like they are in nineteen, twenty, twenty-five till the mm. age of twenty-five, you have good opportunities. Just utilize your time to the fullest. Don't take rest. Don't uh, spend time on sleeping whole day and night. Don't watch lot of Netflix series like whole night or whole day. People are doing it. Just don't waste your time because you will not get that time again in your life. Right, right. now you have your parents who are taking care of you, who are cooking food for you. But after some day. you have to do the same job for your kid then you may not be free you may not be available that is your primary liability in future so you have mm-hmm. only few years like the the time like 18 to 25 is very crucial for every person and Correct. he or she should utilize that time very appropriately understand the importance of time mm-hmm. value the time because if you will not value the time you may not do the things which you can do now this is Correct. the only Correct. advice i have to give Yeah, yeah you rightly mentioned because i think this is the pain of or regret of every 90s kid that they have because now the 2000 born are doing they are they are on internet they are on youtube they are do starting yes, doing business yes. as well but we 90s yes. generation is like we stuck in between very late <laughs> very yes. late or, yeah we stuck in between because we have seen exponential growth of internet like when yes. we were child yes. there was a like button wala mobile and even internet was not born even so we not have that yes. we have seen that whole era okay so one thing that i was just um, researching on your channel and one thing that i really liked about your titles your titles and thumbnails the the text written on your thumbnail is so catchy uh, did you learn that or just 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 put your put it, it whatever comes in your mind i don't know you are saying it but i am not finding my thumbnails at all catchy because if they are catchy i got good views and i am always facing issue with making thumbnail because when i've seen seen the thumbnail from dehati madam she ah. has amazing thumbnail like right. like the title is everything for the video actually for the youtube people are not going to watch the entire video if the title is not good and i if if, if the viewers are watching this video i would request you to watch my previous videos they are really good the created in last two months all videos are really good amazing but just because mm-hmm. of the thumbnail i'm not getting the exposure because thumbnail is not really good i just simply mention whatever the whatever we have discussed in that video the same things i usually mention so what do Always. you use for thumbnail uh, what application do you use for thumbnail time master only i have no uh, time to explore any other use canva <laughs> use canva it is really great and it will uh, you can make your uh, thumbnail like in 5 minutes I don't know. I tried to use it, but I was not able to use it properly. I think I need some guidance, or I think I should watch some YouTube videos before using that Canva application. But okay. I'm not getting again. I'm telling you that I do not have time to watch these kind of videos these days. I'm not watching. Uh-huh. Like I do not have five minutes patience to watch a video these days. <laughs> okay. Seriously. Okay. I thought okay. like this is the problem. So whatever comes in my mind, I simply write in the video, and most of the time I only write like. Uh, english conversation practice this so this is like main title mm-hmm. i always give to my videos so that is very simple 
Okay, for some videos I have watched and I literally just clicked on that video, like the monetization one. And two or two or three more. Okay, well, okay. Just, let me yeah. yeah, let me tell you. Those video those thumbnails created by someone else. That oh. time my videos went viral and one people approach one person approached me and he want me he want me to create my thumbnail. So he created those thumbnail and all those thumbnails are amazing. Okay. And I got good amazing views on those videos. So even though my English was not really good in those videos, ah, I was right. very broken. My grammar was not good. My confidence was not up to mark. But these videos, the latest one, where I am very much good with the flow, with the grammar. Nobody is watching those videos because of the thumbnail actually. Thumbnail. And right, you're absolutely right. right. Those thumbnails were amazing because that's created by somebody else. Hmm. Not by correct, you. correct. Yeah. Yeah, so I think um, I have asked whatever I wanted to ask. So do you have any question for me? No, not now because I have to go now. <laughs> Feed him. Yeah. It's time. I don't know why he's quiet. Actually, I, I was about to say this. Like, he's so quiet. He's not speaking. He's not making any sound. He's just listening. 